who frequently travels through Calais. And I'll start with you, Ewan, actually, because uh, when I was talking to Am Ahmad Rad, I um, said that you actually don't like to go through Calais anymore because of the pressures of people trying to get on your lorries. Tell us how you feel about the situation. And Caroline, because she's at the camp, um, T tell us what, what the options are there, Caroline. W would that be the case? And Shappy, thank you very much for joining us and uh, let us know your thoughts on that, all the usual ways of getting in touch. Thank you for joining us today. Still to come. As the chairman of... Right, let's catch up with all the sport. Jessica has the details and Arsenal were tormented by Lionel Messi, Le Lionel Messi last night, Jess. Tell us more. <laughs> it's award winner Dwayne Vincent, better known as Mega Man from So Solid Crew, <laughs> who picked up the gong for best video back in 2002. Morning. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Before Good morning, we chat, Dwayne. though, I just want to see that moment when you did pick up the award. Uh, uh, is black talent being overlooked? Yeah, I, I, I do feel it's um, being overlooked. I mean, um, there has been to some To include hope, so. different genres like grime, as you're, as you're saying. Um, what about refreshing as well, the people who actually are doing the voting? Because it's just over a thousand. Um, wow. Journalists, oh. artists, heads of labels. They're saying that in future, they will look at the diversity of, of those people doing the voting to, to try to make sure that there be is better representation uh, across all areas. Do you much, much. Bye -bye. Right, let's get the latest weather update. Carol has the details. I'm Joanna Gosling in for Victoria. Welcome to the programme if you've just joined us. Coming up before 11. Also in the next hour, one for joined us. We're on BBC Two and the BBC News Channel until 11 this morning. Loads of you getting in touch today with your comments on violent parents on the touchline. Mark texted to say, football should have a sin bin like they have in rugby. Sophie Scott tweeted us about a kids rugby match. At 15, she says, my son was punched in the face at school by a parent from opposing rugby team who took offence to a tackle on his son. Bully Bully on Twitter, come on people, what kind of world are we living in? It's kids football, for heaven's sake, grow up, idiots. Do keep your comments coming in, loads of ways of getting in touch. Uh, use, use the hashtag Victoria Live. And don't forget, if you text, you'll be charged at the standard network rate. And wherever you are, you can watch the programme online via the BBC News app or on the website bbc.co.uk forward slash Victoria. Now, fire and search crews have indicated they're still hoping to find three people alive, uh, three missing people alive in the rubble of the Didcot power station collapse. They say there's no clear sign of life yet, but it is still a rescue operation. Another update is expected at any time. The crews have been using sniffer dogs and drones in their efforts to find the missing contractors. One person died in the collapse and five were injured, two of them seriously. Well, let's go straight over to Didcot for the latest news. Uh, any updates there, Sophie, about the search? He's essentially in an induced coma uh, and will be so. Uh... As we said, the medical treatment in the United States is incredibly expensive and he didn't mm -hmm. have insurance. If you hadn't have raised the money like this, what would have happened? Um, it's difficult. Well, let's try and make sense of all this. Our health editor, Hugh Pym, is with some junior doctors in central London. Hugh. The Justice Secretary, Michael Gove, who's campaigning for Britain to leave the European Union, has claimed that David Cameron's EU reform deal is not legally binding. Let's get more from our political correspondent, Chris Mason. Um, Downing Street says it is, Chris, so explain. 